Hi, my name is Kyra Shea Graham and I'm a senior majoring in Information Systems Engineering and after graduation I plan to work for GE Aviation. Through my time here I've been awarded a lot of different opportunities um, with it being research with the many grants to the Homeland Security and I've also done an REU and along with the REUs we also attend conferences where you present your research and that's opened a lot of doors such as um, the Grace Hopper Conference, which I was awarded second place to attend that conference and it opened a lot of doors for a job. Hi, my name is Bianca Goodman. I'm a senior here at Johnson C. Smith University, majoring in Information Systems Engineering. Specifically your junior year, you start to do more labs, so you get more in-depth. So all the information that you might think, well, these are boring lectures, they are great assets for your junior and your senior year and they helped me to become the person I am today and it helped me to be as active and as successful in my major. Hi, my name is Enrique Garcia. I'm a sophomore here at Johnson City Smith University. I am a computer science major and a computer engineering minor. My experience so far has been amazing. Um, I have met a lot of people who have helped me along the way. Uh, every, computer, every STEM major receives an academic success coach. This coach helps you transition from high school into your college life. And once you're in college, it helps you transition from your freshman through your senior year. They help you get uh, job opportunities, research opportunities, which help you build your resume a lot. Hello, my name is Jamar Robinson a junior and a computer engineering major. I'm Clayton Garden. I'm also a junior here at Johnson C. Smith University. This is our summer research that we did two years ago. It's about robotics. It was done uh, on a Homeland Security grant with Dr. Chow and Dr. Chen. The idea was that when an uh, emergency disaster happened, we needed to find like a robotic model that could go into the area and be able to collect information. To As we have here, the, d the design was basically um, a low, sturdy, Robust, uh, robustic um, design so that depending on the year it went in, it could be uh, functional and still be sturdy. Um, right here we have the camera that would um, actually um, give a visual aid and send back to uh, someone outside that would be able to see what's going on in the hazardous environment. It's a variable. That's it, on the fly. Okay, so that's how we define them. Okay. And then for methods. All into the loop. The program goes, ah. My name is Satish Bala. I am an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science, and I'm working with uh, bioinformatics and teaching computer science courses. This is a brand new field. Congress had mandated uh, in the late 90s to uh, uh, map the human genome. And they spent billions of dollars in uh, trying to achieve that goal. What we deal with is the information from biology, all the biological data, and uh, try to analyze that data using computer science tool. The students are very much interested in this thing. They like to learn. And the way I present us, I give them problems to solve. And the students like solving these problems. So if you want to solve a real-life problem, you better define you know, the objects. My name is Li Juan Cao, and uh, I'm currently an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I mainly teach entry-level programming courses and more advanced-level programming courses, and uh, uh, such like uh, internet programming. So that will students can learn how to make websites, dynamic websites, how to communicate with the server, and uh, you know uh, how to uh, get back to the base database in the back. And that's a widely used business model in the market these days. The way we um, you know, uh, offer the program in this department is not just like teaching them the knowledge. We also try to you know, help them build their critical thinking skills. You know, uh, uh, they, they need to learn how to work as a team player because that's very important, especially 
when they graduate and they work in an IT company. Do it to get done. This is the Dr. Yunbai. Uh, I'm a professor teaching at the Department of Computer Science and uh, Engineering at the Johnson Business University, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, I came here in 2001. I have teaching here about 11, 12 years. This class, we need a student to do some hands-on jobs. They have to do the circuit connection, make some interface themselves, and then do a programming by using assembly language. When they graduate, they want to find a good job. So if you want to find a good job, you have to have a good knowledge, both theoretically and practically. So uh, most companies like, uh, stu like students, they have a hand-on experience. If they do the programming for this microcontroller, they like to recruit you. With the faculty and staff, it's really family-oriented. Being that we do have small class sizes helps me personally because I can go and talk to my professor and they can give me feedback, that one-on-one. -on -one. Being at Johnson C. Smith, they have opened my mind to a lot of different career opportunities and career goals. Uh, they have provided me research experience, which is, you know, hands-on experience, not only theory. So you can say, I am studying this and this is what I'm going to do. So far, I have received so many things that I have never known before. I am able to do so much more on the computer. I am able to pull it apart and put it back together. And it has been through the efforts not only of the STEM um, college, but of also the many resources that are found around the university. You. 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 You and JCSU. See you soon. <laughs>